when I was, had just turned 19 in August, I'd just been saved in May, and I was heading off to Bible college. My life radically changed. And as I went off to Bible college, I was thinking about all the world of opportunities that I was going to be, uh, that were going to be before me, the decisions I was going to make about how I would serve God, how I would use my life, where I would go, and the woman that I would someday fall in love with, have a marriage with, build a family with, and even whether I would. At one point, I had to deal with the question, okay, so am I going to give my heart to some woman and enter into a marriage relationship and build a family, or am I going to do the Apostle Paul thing and just go it alone through life? Some guys, they are bachelors, and they seem to do okay, so which way am I going to do this? And the only reason that I was really wondering that was because, as I looked at it, it seemed to me that love and marriage was in some ways a really risky thing. It was like a roll of the dice. You don't know how this is going to turn out. I mean, sure, you're standing there in the glow of love, expecting a wonderful future. All young couples do. I mean, she's looking at him thinking he's Prince Charming. He's going to make her happy throughout life. He's looking at her like the Disney princess. She's going to give him all the joy and... And, you know, she doesn't know 20 years down the road he's going to be a couch potato with a beer gut calling for another cold one. And, and he doesn't know that 20, 30 years down the road she's going to be shuffling around the home at noon in her bathrobe, grumbling about how miserable life is, what a no good husband she has, her kids they never write, they never call. Many times you'll have a couple, they've stayed together, but they're emotionally divorced, living in the same house. And even in the best of marriages, you know that there's going to be ups and downs, but ultimately, whoever you marry, someday you will bury one or the other, barring the rapture. You're setting yourself up for a lot of heartbreak and pain. And I asked myself, I don't know, is it worth it? The pain that you know is going to come, is it worth it? And as I thought about it, I thought, I don't know, but my gut tells me love will be worth it. Love will be worth it. Think about this. Before day one, when God said, let there be light, just as he was getting ready to create the universe and start this whole drama of humanity in motion, before he began, do you think he foresaw the serpent in the garden that day? The seduction of Eve, the fall of Adam? Do you think he knew all that was coming? What do you think? Sure, sure he did. Do you think he foresaw all of the pain, all of the sorrow, all of the cruelty, the sin, the death, the hell, the cross, the Son of God writhing in agony, crying, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken? Do you think he foresaw all of that? Sure he did. In that case, you've got to ask, Man, if he understood, he wasn't rolling the dice here. He went into this with his eyes wide open. He knew exactly everything that was coming, all the nightmare that was about to be unleashed. He knew what he was getting into. And you got to ask, why did he go through with it, knowing all of this? Why did God set this great operatic epic of history into motion? Why did he do it? And the only reason that makes any sense is that God knew that love was worth it all. It was worth everything that was going to happen. The love that he would have with the redeemed made it all worth it.